dumbbells. Nobody's doing enough with dumbbells. They're amazing, amazing tools and they're hyper friendly for everything we do except for that things they make it even like harder. The unwieldiness of two things brings all of the wonderful neurological dynamics that translate to increased strength that I get it, looking at the difference between parallel bars and rings. The independent axes of the ring makes the ring man a stronger parallel bar guy than the parallel bar guy is. When I put a parallel bar guy on the rings, they shake. Why? Is it inherent instability in the rings? No, they're inherently stable. In fact, from, from rest, all, every direction is uphill and takes work. But what you're seeing is it's, it's white noise, it's brain noise. And you have to learn to not transmit that. And so as soon as you, the rings are stable, you're stronger on the parallel bars. Isn't that interesting? It's my theory that the P-bar guy's doing those movements, but the parallel bars don't move, so you never see that brain activity. I put him in that environment, he does. And so what this means is that the slack line is good dry land training for stability and not the indo board. What I want is to find a friction-free environment. I don't know how far down you want to get on this, but I think it's cool shit. Um, dumbbells, more dumbbells, more dumbbells, more dumbbells, more dumbbells.